That's kind of what started me thinking about what about people in different situations, in conflict situations, in crisis situations. So uh, I really tried to learn as much as I could about that and I came across the International Diabetes Federation and the Young Leaders in Diabetes program and uh, read about it and I said I want to be involved in this. I, yeah, it just sounded like an incredible program. People with diabetes from all around the world, you know, what could be better than that? And uh, I applied and was accepted so I came to Melbourne and that's when I first met everyone and started hearing their stories. My project is called T1 International and we are focused on advocating for people with type 1 diabetes around the world. Our slogan is, you know, life with diabetes is complicated, but access to insulin supplies and care shouldn't be. It started out kind of as a blog and just a website and a resource to share information about life with diabetes in other countries, about organizations that are working to support people with diabetes in other countries. So that is where a lot of our information and resources are housed, are on that website, but we do um, build relationships with community groups and individuals in countries around the world to try to learn kind of what's the most pressing issue, what do they need support with, what kind of resources to help them find ways to advocate for themselves. This program is just a great opportunity to to meet other people, not only tell them about what I'm doing, because there's people from all over the world, so there's other people like me who have access to what they need, but there's lots of others who don't, and, and how can we as a group and as a community of people with diabetes, how can we tackle these issues? I've been working with a lot of the young leaders over the past two years since Melbourne to, to just try to amplify what they're already doing in their country, because they're, they're amazing and they're doing wonderful things. I hope that the web of connection that is being built will last and I'm really determined to see that last because I think one of the challenges in the diabetes space and in many spaces is that people aren't as joined up as they maybe should be and I just feel so strongly that like the only way we're going to be able to change and make these big changes that we want to see in terms of access to insulin, access to education, all the support that people need and deserve is going to be by working together. I'm certainly not going anywhere, and I'm gonna be you know, pushing people, um, connecting with them, re reconnecting with them, making sure that there's that positive change we wanna see.